Hi guys, it's Erin from The Impatient Gardener. Um, I am sitting here in my new raised bed vegetable garden, which is still a work in progress. Um, as you can see, um, we got most, well, all the beds are built now. Um, and I have a whole blog post about that, but I wanted to kind of just show you some details of it because I think there's a few things that even though I wasn't able to walk you through the process step by step, I think there's a few things that will be easier to see on a video um, than it is to explain it. So I thought that might be helpful for you. If you see behind me, um, I've got half of the bed stained and that's the next process and we'll talk about that soon. Um, but I just thought right now I'd just walk you through a few of the details of how we constructed these beds. So as you can see, we made these out of six four by fours. The bottom layer is cedar um, because I wanted something that would be uh, more resistant to rotting. Everything else is untreated pine and they're all going to be treated with something and we'll talk about that in the future. Um, but I didn't want to do um, pressure treated pine, even though it's often said that that's fine uh, for raised beds. It's just not a decision I made here. Um, all we did was stack the layers and you can see that we alternated the ends. Um, the first layer was leveled and then we held it in the ground with 12 inch rebar stakes um, drilled through and pounded into the ground. I think we did one, two, three, four, six or maybe eight per big bed and a few and some fewer on the smaller beds. And then what we did is in the corners we used a six inch screw um, to hold the corners together and every layer we nailed with big six or seven inch long spikes we nailed every layer together and there are something like 16 14 nails per bed i personally think that's overkill um, but mr much more patient was in charge of building and he wanted that many on there so these beds are are not going are not going anywhere so basically the key is screwing every corner in together alternating the corners a spike down um, each corner plus in the center um, two in the center of each side um, and that holds it all together and this thing is solid <laughs> 